All right, so we're continuing where we left off. Dry Shell Citadel. This may be a short video, it may be a long video, I don't know, but the last one was pretty lengthy because I was finishing World 7. I was telling you guys what was going on in my work life and somewhat of my personal life. This uh, potential cancer stuff that I'm, I might be uh, dealing with, may not be, either way, um, just keep me in your thoughts. Uh, that said, wait, okay, so we actually survived here. We can't, I thought we can land in lava with this. We can't. So yeah, you can see that it makes you go backwards. So, like, how do you do this? Like, if I Z out. Okay, what? How did I not land in it? How did I not land back in it? You can Z out of it, but you were supposed to land right back in the thing. Alright, we hit down right there. Okay, so we're right back at this spot. How? How? How is that still a thing? How am I not landing right back into that? I feel like you only get one shot at that, too. That's the sad part. And you can only imagine the boss requiring you to, like, Z out and hit switches and stuff. Just, just dumb all the way. Just, just, Run it back. <sighs> All right. How do, how does how do I not have enough time? I don't understand that. We, yeah, we're definitely doing that over. I hate that we were, but, you know, I blew through all of those lives right there. It's all good, though. We start back out with 10. I don't remember having more than 11 since I've been playing today, so. Okay, so this wasn't as bad as it could have been, I guess. I guess only because I got through it, right? Everything's not as bad once you get through it. And he at least gave you another one here, so the fact that he expects you to be able to get through all of that in the second part without another shell is it's awful like you're supposed to know to do that you jump through all of this and don't get me wrong it's improving my skills for sure but i'm not necessarily looking to improve my skills if that makes sense i'm looking just to get through this stuff Okay, so here's the part that plagued me. How, how, like, see what I'm saying? How is that hurting me? I should have never died there. I should have been able to land on top of the shell again. Like, you don't even get chances to really even practice at that. Like, do I have to do it here? Like, stop. I don't want to catch you. <sighs> I want, yeah, so that's what we have to do. We're catching it, though. 
Maybe if we let it go back in the lava and jump in the lava, that would work for us. We have to try that next. Because we at least hit the switch. We know we're more than capable of hitting the switch, but it's like, why are you catching the shell? When you get back up there, get inside the shell. It's dumb to me that... See, there it happened again. It's like, he's picking it up. Maybe it's my fault for holding the Y button. Maybe that's the problem. I'm holding the Y button still, instead of just seeing if he lands on top of it. If you're holding the Y by default, he's going to grab. Even if you're trying to land on top of it, that's probably what's happening. And, uh, I've been a, a B button holder since, oh gosh. Since the NES days, holding the B button to run and just, you know, hoping that that helps me grab stuff and that doesn't always work in your favor. Same thing, I'm, I'm used to holding the R button when I'm spinning. And sometimes you've got to hop, you can't just aggressively jump, right? So that's something, unfortunately, I'm learning after the fact. Still didn't land. I landed beside it. That was still my fault because I wasn't on top of it. Still landed beside it. What is up with that? And I know this is torturous for some because you either can do better or you just don't want to see me suffer. And then there's another group of people who are like, yeah, he's struggling. I enjoy this. And I get that group too. So, apologies to everyone but that group that enjoys seeing that kind of. Uh, gameplay. <laughs> Alright, so let's turn that on because I want you to know that I'm somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle of that. Not at the edge of it, just somewhere in the middle. Thankful that that didn't end abruptly there, because I was like, maybe it will. Okay, that worked. Look at that. This again? This is nuts, man. I don't like any of this. No checkpoint whatsoever. And I somehow have to go through all of that. Like, it's ridiculous that he didn't respawn a shell. It's totally ridiculous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die right there and have to do all of that over again. That was probably the end over there by the way. Probably was the end, but it's like, bro, you can't do that and not give another shell. I don't care how basic the level design is, you've got to offer somebody another chance. And that's my whole thing, it's like, just not getting multiple chances. Get up. Really? How did I, I press down there? 
I literally pressed down and got hit. But he, he challenges you to do... multiple play styles. It's, it's not like you're just doing this the whole way through, and it's not like you're just doing this the whole way through. Because that would be, I guess, in some people's eyes, too easy. But that would be what I would call standard. So to switch it up and be like, oh, by the way, you need to get comfortable doing this too. That's a lot. Okay, get up, Mario. You know, yeah, so right here you don't need another shell. But how unfortunate would it be if there was like a giant buzzsaw like right there and you did need it? It'd just be terrible, man. So yeah, I figured this would be like this here. So do I have to somehow Z over there and hit switches? That's what it feels like. Okay, so we need to go this way first. So now that this is done, we've got to go over here and do this again. Okay, so the red does what? The red makes me go back. It doesn't. We just have to be careful here. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. That was actually easier than everything else in the level. That was easier than everything else in the level, honestly. So now that we've experienced the whole thing, let's try again. It would have been clutch if I was able to do that all in one life. Which is one life to live and not have to do that all over again. That would have been super clutch. I'm like, the only thing that he can do worse is bring back like the P block or something like that. The, the, the P balloon. That's the only thing that he could do more that would annoy me. Maybe he would bring, I don't know. I don't even want to encourage oh gosh was that like a ground pound so i know he's trying to teach you there to z but it's like that doesn't really teach you anything if you didn't know to z you know to z but it doesn't teach you what you have to do here if anything he should have had a down arrow reminding people that that's how this thing works if you've never used it before so my speculation was right of how the boss battle was going to work. I hate that it doesn't make you ricochet or anything, it just pops you up. So having gotten that far, I'm honestly not that mad. Right, because I feel like I feel like, um, well, that was unfortunate. We were struggling at that part, and we already got to the checkpoint again, right? Like, our very first run through, we got to the checkpoint. My problem is the fatigue is starting to kick in, where it's like, oh, you've done this over and over again, that you're going to get sloppy. You're not going to be the same skill level each time because your brain is like, oh, this again? And not like, oh, this again. Which is why I got hit prematurely here. See, I accidentally hit the Y button. I accidentally pressed it because I thought I was already in the thing. 
my bad. Oh, man, okay, let's get through this. Let's do this. We can do this. We are capable of beating this one. I wanted to rage quit so bad, but I'm trying not to give up, although there's many things in my life right now that I'm just like, I have to give, give up. But I'm not a quitter, but I will give up on things that don't serve me a purpose or, you know, I have no control over. And sometimes that's, you know, that's necessary. Okay. So we got through this. This wasn't that bad. Okay, so we go through here, go through that. Same thing here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we're back here with seven lives this time. Seven lives this time, and a power up. And we know this one is straightforward. You're, I thought you were like waiting on stuff, but you're not. So we need to go this way. Oh, awesome. Do, do none of those things respawn? Is there not one in here? Okay, there is. So really, you just got one shot, sadly. And I hate that the, my timing was bad. I really do. Because you look at this and you're like, okay, it's all the way to the left. But the reality is you got to jump while it's moving if you want to live. That's the lesson here. If you don't jump while it's moving, you're, you're going to get hit. So like right here, where it's going away, that's not when you jump. You jump when it's coming towards you. Now I have the key. Now I just need to move down through that and the level is over. Whew. All right, let's turn off that rage gauge. Some of y'all didn't think I was going to do it. Honestly, there were moments where I was like, you know what, I could just end this here. See y'all next week. Do it. <laughs> Do it at another time. Because uh, I'm short on time anyway. But that's kind of how I was feeling. Um, we got an opportunity here to... Uh, See here. I think I want to get more lives here if I can. I'm just gonna hit the button and just let the cars lie. So that didn't result in any lives, but hey, we have this level here and then what looks like I thought it was two castles, but it's really just the one. shell stuff for sure. Wait, we're already out of boss? That's cool. Is that it? Or is that like a midway point? It was just a midway point. Which is stupid. Okay, so this must be like a... Oh gosh. This is like a boss rush type thing here. 
that's what this is going to be. What they call this level? Koopaling Keep. So yeah, you're probably taking on all the Kooplings with hardly any power-ups. <sighs> I mean, he tried to make every level different. I have to give him that. a checkpoint. Why is there no power up anywhere either? Like, you thought that that one was supposed to be so easy that you don't need any kind of, you know, item? That's awful right there. That is so awful that I didn't get a chance to, uh, I didn't even get a chance to react to his action. he does his giant jump, I've got to be... Seriously? That should have been it right there. He should have got hit there. And maybe this is one of those, hey, you got to defeat four of them before you even get to a checkpoint, but he's the worst of them. Anyone that's got these flames and stuff, they're the worst of all of these. Like, at least Boom Boom doesn't stun you. I can't stand... made it through there. Fortunately, he's the, the easiest of them. Unfortunately, I need...
so we're back here. I'm sorry, I had to respond to some texts. I wish he would have not cornered me there. We got that. I like how it stuns you and then you don't even get the chance to. Ooh, that was bad. The good thing is, even if I die here and have to start over, we weren't. <sighs> Sorry, y'all, I'm distracted. I keep looking at my phone. I wasn't far enough to have to be like, oh, I've got to do all this, this, and this again. like the perfect place to land on my head and everything. This last level is going to be a doozy for sure. Alright, we're over here now. Jump and do your dumb thunder thing. That was a dumb move on my part, but hey, we get to start over and get more lives. Everybody's online now. No kitty. I'm, I'm trying to earn a living here. I know you want attention and I'm sorry. exactly where you're going to be at. I love that. I love that there's no other power-ups or anything like that there. How did I not land on him? Oh, this is just, this is bad all the way around. And the sad thing is, y'all have seen me do this one at least At least 10 or 15 times now. 
And that's the first time in a while I was able to at least stay, stay Super Mario. Provided I, you know, you still get an opportunity there to screw up. There's no power up, nothing, and you're supposed to be able to just, oh gosh, I hate this guy. Just get out of the way. Alright, what's through here? What, what pain awaits here? No power up, nothing through here. This this room was a distraction. All of this crap in the way. Yeah, this this just might be it for me. This, this battle royal with no checkpoint. It, it might be it for me. I just <sighs> we'll give it a couple more times, and I might have to take a break from all of this and come back. We at least got to the penultimate level if I don't, you know, finish this for whatever reason. See, you see his reaction time and it's like, he's only in the shell for a little bit. But then these other guys, they're in the shell for a lot longer. And so your, your brain is like, okay, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, hit him. Right? Look how long he's in the shell for. Oh, I still got hit there. I might have to put the rage gauge back on. Just, just all things considered. Second hit, my third hit, okay. No power up though. He was so generous with power ups this entire run, and then now all of a sudden, nothing. And it's just sad, because you know it's gonna be like all eight Koopa kids. And like I said, maybe you have to get through I gotta stay in the middle there. I wonder if spin jumping helps. Probably not. There's no spikes or anything, but maybe you have to do that later. And you know, a lot of people do this. They do like a boss rush type level. Um, I almost just jumped off the deep end right there. Yeah, this might be it for me. Stay on this side. Okay, that's going to be it for me, y'all. Um, I don't want to get mad or anything. Just, uh, yeah. You mad? What you going to do about it? Uh, we'll revisit this probably when I'm in a, a nicer mood <laughs> and not about to yell or cry or scream. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll be able to hack guy. Peace out.